Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Mercedes. I love all things nail polish, nail care, and hand care. So if you love those things too, definitely consider subscribing. In today's video, we'll be going over um, my Halloween polish rack. So <laughs> I made a fall rack and I have probably way too much on my fall rack. And I know I definitely have way too much on my Halloween rack. Um, I've made Halloween racks in the past but only like partially like I would take some polishes out from like my fall rack and just kind of set them aside on my on my nail desk and it wasn't really like an official rack so this is like my first official Halloween rack so I went a little overboard um, probably won't get to all of these and I probably won't get to all of my fall polishes but that's okay like I love looking at this like this setup it inspires me when I go and pick out polishes and they're pretty to look at so you know why not it makes me happy but yes so let's get into it um, the first polish I'm actually wearing it right now and this is from Jen and Berry's and it is called Q Who Q No Who um, it's from their September 2021 Star Trek Villains collection volume one um, but it's it's a gorgeous polish it's definitely like jelly based it took me three coats to reach full opacity at first i was applying it and i'm like yeah you know what i don't really think i'm actually a fan of this um of this polish but as soon as i finished painting my nails with it um you know after i got to that three coat full opacity um i was i was digging them um but it kind of i don't know i'm just i'm trying to be a little better with polishes and i think i'm probably going to start a de-stash page so um, I have a polish um, from Wildflower Lacquer that's kind of similar to this so and I definitely love my Wildflower Lacquer better but we will see but I'm loving this one so far. Then we have Enchanted Polish and this is in Winifred. Um, obviously you have to have this one on here. It's unfortunate that Enchanted Polish is out of business. Um, they used to make some beautiful polishes, but I was able to snag a few before they closed. So this is just, um, I don't think this is like a glitter bomb, but it's definitely like an orangey based polish with some hollow glitter, hollow chunky, chunky hollow glitter. And then we have Potion Polish um, in Cozy Couch Day from their Autumn 22, 2022 collection. So this should still be available, I believe. Um, this is a new brand to me. I actually went a little crazy and purchased a whole bunch of polishes from this brand because they make so many pretties. But I'm excited to hopefully get this on my nails. It does have reflective glitter and it has almost like this burnt orange, reddish, burgundy-ish kind of shifty shimmer. Then we have Olive Ave Polish in Emerald, a beautiful like olive green polish um, with some silver shimmer machu picchu i actually just shared this in my um, recent um, polish pick up haul then again potion polish these are not in any particular order my son actually threw like i gave him polishes to put on this rack so he just put them on there and i haven't reorganized them so we're going to be bouncing back and forth in between brands but this is in october um had to have this one on here obviously because of the name but it's a beautiful orange shade and then we have nine zero lacquer and this is an exoplasm i really hope jess makes more polishes she has created so many beautiful polishes um i'm hoping soon we'll see something i thought i might have heard an update but maybe i'm just going crazy or I just really want her to make more polishes so I'm just making things up I don't know but hopefully <laughs> but this is a beautiful bright neon green purple glitters orange glitters um, black glitters white glitters the whole shabam then we have Stella Chroma and this is in Harvest Moon this was from Polish Pickup of September 2021 um, I can't remember if I swatched this or if i purchased this on my own can't remember i don't remember um but it's a beautiful purpley like shifty polish with hollow flakes 
Then we have Wildflower Lacquer, and this is in Patsy from the Classics Collection. Of course, gotta throw your greens in there. And we have China Glaze, and this is in Now or Nova. I absolutely love China Glaze and their Halloween collections. I think their pat, like the most recent Halloween collection, wasn't really feeling that, but they've made some amazing nail polishes for, for their Halloween collection. So I hope they really step their game up for next year. And then I have two from Never Naked by Jackie. Um, I actually wore these together as a combo last um, fall. And oh my goodness, if I can pull up that picture, I'll show you. My nails were much longer when I wore this, when I wore this combo. Um, oh, stunning. So this orange with this, this is a topper um, with this topper over it. Oh my goodness, absolutely beautiful. And then we have Cuticula and this is in Dahlia from the Keep On Blooming collection. I'm not sure if this is still available possibly on the website, but it's a nice deep foresty um, polish with some beautiful shifts in there. Yellow, orange, pink, hollow flakes, of course. And then we have MJ Lacquers, and this is in Dizzy Lizzy from uh, PPU of June this year. Again, another green. I purchased this one because of those beautiful flakes. Look at that. Oh, look at that whopper of a flake right there but hopefully I get to wear this before the end of October. And then another Jen and Berries, and this is in This Is My Costume, very appropriate to have <laughs> this rack. Um, this is from Little Box of Horrors of September, 2021. I think this may have been, this polish may have sparked my interest in Little Box of Horrors. Um, I never really knew about it um, until not so long ago. Um, well, obviously a year ago, <laughs> um, but I love Halloween. I love scary Halloween, not, not that dainty type of Halloween. So anything scary is going to interest me, but this is a beautiful, like holographic polish with like, I don't even know. Is that like silver chrome? I don't know. And red flakies. And then we have Polish Molish, and this is in Disappore Stones. No, Diaspore Stones <laughs> from PPU July 2022. Again, another like, swampy, slimy green with gorgeous orange flakes and gold flakes too, and green flakes. <laughs> this is a new to me brand. And another China Glaze and Keep It Realm. So if you're wondering if these two are similar, they are similar, but not the same. Um, Keep It Realm is a is more on the purple side and now on now on Nova is more of a like burgundy reddish tone. And then we have Penelope Loose and this is in Wizard Kitten from September Polish Pickup 2021. Um, hopefully I wanted to wear this last Halloween. I never got a chance to, so I'm really hoping to wear it this time around. And Wildflower Lacquer in Potion. This was from uh, PPU Rewind of this year. Of course, Hollow Flakes, you know, like, come on. Do you guys see a theme? And if you're wondering about the Stella Chroma, Potion is a, leans a little more, like that purple base is a little more deeper. Like Stella Chroma, Harvest Moon is giving me more like galaxy vibes than Potion. And China Glaze in Wicked Liquid. I think I've worn this already a couple times, um, but it's a beautiful like chromey green. Wildflower Lacquer in Tonight We Fly. Very appropriate to have in my on my rack <laughs> so this was from a little box of horrors it was the halloween theme um september 2021 it's a gorgeous oh my goodness look at the shimmer look at the shimmer it has like blue shimmer oh my goodness beautiful uh night hour night owl lacquer i feel like i can never pronounce that in one sentence <laughs> and this is a blood of a wendigo i purchased this because i watched a video of um, from Jackie, uh, Nurse Jackie. I will leave her information 
here and in the description box but she had mentioned this polish and i saw it and i was like oh my goodness i need it it's just it screams halloween it screams fall it's beautiful and we have another wildflower lacquer and this is anything is possible the 2.0 version from the sophisticated collection a beautiful bright green with gorgeous flakies and if you're wondering how this compares to polish molish let's put them together so wildflower lacquer is definitely more of a deeper green polish molish is a lighter that green is a little bit lighter more on the like the kelly side green um, and the flakes in polish molish are definitely more like orange toned or they're just more orange toned flakes in that polish and then again another night owl lacquer and this is 20 sides to every story um, i kind of hesitated putting this on my halloween rack or even on my fall rack but i really love those glowy purple flakes and the black flakes i think it just it gives like a nice sparkle to halloween <laughs> and then of course you can't have a halloween rack without having don't let the don't let the dead bite by china glaze this is just a classic um, the original does not look like this the flakies i mean the glitters in this definitely like melted into the polish and has turned it more of a like a pinky tone color but before um, it was more of a like a flesh skin tone shade like base i should say but this is definitely going on my nails before halloween or if not on halloween and then we have Crisable Designs, and this was brought back to PPU Rewind this year to key or not to key. I saw Caitlin from Caitlin Swatches swatch this, and I was like, yep, getting it, need it, I love it. It's, it's so deep and rich. Oh my god. Anything she swatches it looks amazing, and I want everything. <laughs> <laughs> and then Rogue Lacquer and Happiest Place on Earth from the Imagineering Collection. Gorgeous. I love how they make their flaky polishes this way it's just oh, i don't know how to describe it it looks like like it's not like in a jelly base it's more in like a i don't know like a pastel kind of base i don't even know what i'm talking about but um it just it just glows like it, it's not like let me see like if you know like i don't know if you can see what i mean but you see how this looks more like jellyish like this will probably take like two to three coats to like reach full full opacity and this is probably like one beautiful swipe because the base is just so rich and then again another night owl lacquer uh, flesh of a zombie of course gotta have that one in there just because of the name in garden path lacquers and this is in midnight's journey from polish pickup of june this year again like just another beautiful like twinkly sparkly shade to pop in there in case i'm not feeling like the slimy grungy greens and we have Bluebird Lacquer from their Bluebird. Um, I was in the Bluebird collection, but she does this every Halloween. She'll say like Bluebird instead of Bluebird. This was from their, I believe, like their mystery box or like their mystery calendar, advent calendar last year. And this is the Fright Stuff. So gorgeous, like deep purple polish with like multicolored flakes. And we have naps and nails. This is Never Trust ADM <laughs> uh, from the Dungeons and Dragons um, polished gamers box of June this year. Um, again, another new to me brand, but I was very intrigued by how this looked. I love polishes that have contrasting glitters or contrasting flakies. Um, and this definitely has a contrasting flaky. They're like micro flakes, it's gorgeous. Then we have Lemming Lacquer, and this is Jack of the Lantern, right? Is that an L? Yes, from Little Box of Horrors um, of September last year. Beautiful orange polish with silver shimmer. And then what else is in there? Black flakies. There's something else in there, but I can't tell. Looks like almost purple, like a purple shimmer. And then again, another Night Owl Lacquer. They make some amazing Halloween collections. Um, this is that Halloween glow, but look at that glow. I wore this, I know I wore this last year. Do I have a photo of it? I'm not sure, but I know I did. It's beautiful. 
And last but not least, we have a Wonder Lacquer, and this is Interstellar. I'm not sure if this brand is still in business or not. I do have a couple from them. Um, I haven't actually worn any, but I'm really excited to hopefully get this on my nails. I love black polishes that have a little something extra to them, um, and this definitely has that. So yes, I hope you enjoyed watching the picks that I have on my Halloween rack. Um, hopefully I can get my um, fall rack up for you guys. Um, there is quite a bit of polishes in there. Like I said, this is not something for me to feel like I have to go through all of these polishes. It's just an inspiration, something to look at, something for me to do um, so I can get into my nail polish collection um, and, and actually see the, the polishes that I have. Let me know if you have any of these polishes, if you make a Halloween rack or even a fall or seasonal rack, um, which one of these are your favorite, which ones do you want to see me wear. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.